Well, now to Lansing and the state legislature putting pressure on Governor Whitmer and her plan to reopen the state. Yeah, a number of Republicans believe it is progressing too slowly and they're looking to move things along a little more quickly. To get that done, they are threatening not to extend the state of emergency. Rod Maloney has been watching this brewing battle. He's got an update from the governor. Rod. Yeah, you know, Devin, uh, it's a situation where many of the uh, Republicans on the Senate floor are impatient. They want to see more activity. The governor has been meeting with the leadership, both the minority leader and the speaker, and I'm told that the talks have been fairly cordial. And so as it stands right now, there is a belief they can get to a middle ground. We've got some productive conversations going on. I know that they are interested in better understanding some of the work that the Merck has done. That's the Economic Recovery Council uh, that is going to be making some recommendations on informing the decisions that, that I'll have to make in the upcoming weeks. So they're talking, but Republicans want construction, both indoor and outdoor, to get underway as soon as possible. The governor appears on board with the outside construction. She's not saying much about the indoors, like, say, a kitchen renovation. The leadership also wants to see non-emergency medical procedures get a quick green light as well. Today, for the first time, the governor said on that. There are some procedures that we should start to really open up, and, and hospitals are have been a, right at the table and a great partner. Still, the speed is key. Leadership holding out, not giving the governor her extended state of emergency unless there is more and quicker movement. And in the medical area, she appears willing to bend. And I do think that this is a area where there's some opportunity to do more. So there is political horse trading in the offing, the leadership wanting more specifics on the regional plan and more than anything, an improved pace. I would anticipate that, yes, in the coming days, maybe week, you will see an additional executive order. And so we'll uh, look at that and wait for that uh, with the great anticipation. Uh, in the meantime, the governor and the leadership are going to meet yet again, either this afternoon and tonight. We'll keep it under the ground on that and let you know what becomes of it. Back to you. Uh, the uh, full legislature is expected to meet tomorrow. Uh, kind of describe the atmosphere on this right now. Well, Devin, you know, there is the belief that, uh, that things are just taking too long. And there is uh, the notion that they've got to move this thing along and uh, they want the governor to get on it and they want to get more specifics and, and, and essentially get this thing done as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, we'll be on it tomorrow. All right, Rod. Now